going on, heroes and villains? It's me, Shuby. And I've been trying to do this video for like a couple of days. Um, I've been wanting to do it for longer than that. And after, you know, multiple grants and multiple takes, and this being my least hostile one that you're about to see after this little introductory part, uh, I, I think I might just take a, a brief step away from Mortal Kombat until some things are updated. Um, I can tell that there are certain areas uh, in this game that do have love in it. You know, like the some of the environments in here are just amazing. Uh, the character models actually look better than I thought they did. And when I went back and played MK11, I was like, yep, yeah, MK1 does look good. But there are so many areas in this game that just there's no love in. And it just doesn't feel like there's that little touch of of care that was in Mortal Kombat 11 or in Injustice 2. It just feels like there's something missing. I don't know what it is. But anyway, that's it. I just wanted to say my piece and say that I know I got a little hostile with it, but if I didn't care, there wouldn't be passion, right? What are we listening to? That did not sound like Mortal Kombat at all. That sounded like Star Wars. I don't feel like this is NetherRealm Studios Mortal Kombat. I feel like this is Warner Brothers Mortal Kombat. And they have cut corners everywhere. This is a rounded experience. It is not squared. It is not complete. It is empty. It is vapid. It makes me feel empty inside when I play this game. The customization options are so limited. Why even have them? We can no longer name our variations, which was actually really fun for me to come up with clever little variation names because I think I'm a clever little piece of shit. All right, uh, and a lot of people are like, well, they were just palette swaps back in Mortal Kombat 11. Well, guess what, you fucking brown nose and fucked hard? They're mostly palette swaps in this one, too. Katana left Mortal Kombat 11 with, what, over 90 skins? She had almost a hundred different options to choose from, and you're complaining about palette swaps? Please shut the fuck up. All right, now outside of the customizations for your characters, let's go over to learn. Learning is fun, right? Learning new fighters, learning new combos. Now we have aerial combos we have to worry about. We have cameos we have to worry about their stuff as well, right? So there's just a lot of stuff to be, to be had, to be learned in this game. So you would think that we'd be able to tag moves like we've been able to do in the last couple iterations from NetherRealm Studios. But no, this is a battlefield situation that we have here with Mortal Kombat. We cannot tag moves. You know what isn't fun? Going in here where they've meshed basic and combos and, and having to find the moves that you're looking for and then memorize them and then try to memorize what your cameo does and then go to perform it and if you mess up you have to be confident that you memorize those just right it's stupid fix it it should have been fixed by now it should have been like that on release not having tagging moves from the get-go makes me feel like this game was definitely rushed out but next Let's talk about Invasions. Invasions mode is a really decent replacement for the Towers of Time. But it is a shitty replacement for the Crypt. You cannot convince me otherwise. Most of Invasions just looks like an asset pack that they bought and threw in here. I was excited to go check out the Tarkatan area, but I feel like I'm just wandering around Nevada desert and there's nothing to me that says Mortal Kombat while I stroll around in an area that I don't even have a free camera to move around and look around freely. You have like a 45 degree angle that you can look. Oh, and then cool, these little huts, can I check them out? 
nope. Oh, you do you not want me to see that you just took it and duplicated a whole bunch of things and threw it around? And the only things in these areas that make you feel like you are in a Mortal Kombat, you know, related area has like a banner that has the Mortal Kombat logo or the Tarkatan barrier uh, banners, which were literally taken from Mortal Kombat 11 and just thrown into Mortal Kombat 1. The gateway portal is the only part that is supposed to be like Towers of Time, and it is a headache to just go between each one of these. Why? So we can occasionally hit a secret fight that isn't secret at all? At the least, they could have, spoiler alert for the story by the way, they could have at least given us those unique story fights where they blended fighters together, like Cassie meets Scorpion or whatever those combinations were that we had to take on towards the end of the game. They could have at least made those the secret fights, but those aren't the secret fights. The secret fights are just the normal node fights. It's nothing unique. Now we have Test Your Might back, which is cool. It's a game mode, right? It's a new game mode, right? Or it's an old game Test mode that everyone might. loved. You cannot just select Test Your Might. You have to go into Invasions or one of these towers, which is in Invasions, to play Test Your Might. Meaning, like back in MKX, where you could couch co-op and play these mini games with people in your own home, you can no longer do that in Mortal Kombat 1. Why was that content cut? Was it a time issue? Was it a budget issue? All of these towers look the same as we traverse through here. In Mortal Kombat 1, the towers structurally looked unique, they looked different, and they looked amazing. And let's go ahead and forego talking about how there's no map in those mazes, and you're having to navigate without a mini-map. That's a pain in the ass. Also, let's look at other things they ripped from Mortal Kombat 11 and just threw in Mortal Kombat 1. The Shrine takes the same amount of time once you put in a coin, making me think that the logic was literally just ripped from Mortal Kombat 11 and slapped into Mortal Kombat 1. The only real difference I see is that it only cost a thousand here, where in Mortal Kombat 11 you could just you know, donate whatever you wanted to to the shrine. And then the recovery on this shrine is like five seconds? Why? Why does it take that long for me to be able to do another donate? The store. Now to buy things, the seasonal items that you can unlock in this game, the only way you can get them is by going in here, which happens to be right next to all the other paid out of your hard-earned, out-of-your-pocket cash items. To each their own, whatever. But going in here is where they really want you to go. A thousand. And if I'm not mistaken, that's ten dollars. I've also seen a developer say that they worked on Mortal Kombat 1 alongside working Mortal Kombat Onslaught. Is that why we're seeing less content here? Because any side content and all the time and effort that would have been put into this game is put into a mobile game, which is likely going to be linked to this? Just to pilfer every last penny that you've earned in your life. Warner Brothers wants to recoup its losses in your pocket. And they want you to do it with a smile on your face. The one good thing about this game is the fighting. I barely play this game. Without tagging moves, I have no desire to want to learn characters, which is the only thing this game is good for, is fighting. Alright, I'm done.